Talk with Mia and Lonnie. My week has been good, busy. I've noticed, um, I read an article recently from the Bangkok Post. Well, actually, I think BBC reposted Bangkok oh. Post. Yeah. On, um, this, on this particular news? Yes, on this wow. particular story, because it was about a, a young woman. She died from... Um, having plastic surgery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I, I have heard about it. That's been really, really big on the Thai television as well. And that's unfortunate what happened to her. Yeah, because I think a lot of people um, come here to get plastic surgery because it's cheap. Mm -hmm. They call it medical holiday. Medical holiday, and, yeah. And then also, um, I think among Thai culture, it just seems like it's really important for women to to look young and beautiful and the article was talking about how this woman was considered a pretty so she worked um, as a person who presented uh, various products right so let's um, tell the our listeners a bit about what pretty is pretty is English word pretty right pretty beautiful and this has become the particular career for young and beautiful women for example like motor show there's a big motor show in Bangkok and yes people come from all over Thailand to see the new cars and the pretty girl so the company hired a girl who just um, represent the car like say mm -hmm. like Honda who hire maybe five or ten girls but they, they're just not standing next to the car and be pretty though they have to be trained to understand to be able to answer the questions like what type of engine this is and what is the you know good benefit of this car and mm -hmm. they are really pretty <laughs> that's mm -hmm. the name they get paid they get paid a lot oh do they yeah they do okay. it depends there's different level of pretty the right. pretty that just beauty sometimes they don't get paid as well as pretty and intelligent mm -hmm. because you have to be self-confident to speaking among you know all the, among all these news reporter and you have to be able to hold up yourself and they make good money but that's what I heard the top earner yeah it's that much but if you have a pretty in um, let's say in Chiang Mai for example they probably would mm -hmm. not make that much even though right. maybe they even more beautiful Right. So, yeah, I heard about these girls on the news and she died, right? Yeah, so she died um, because the person who was practicing or who was pretending to be a doctor wasn't a doctor. Right. I guess he had watched somebody do the procedure and then he felt comfortable doing it himself. And he, like, was removing or injecting uh, something into her her hips or her her buttocks oh, because okay. she wanted to have more more she, shape. She need more curves, right? I heard that she need a, uh, more hips because she just get her breasts, her boob job. Oh yeah, then. right. She had the <laughs> right. Oh, so, so this guy is not really a doctor. He was a clone. Probably have observed a few surgeries and offer a cheaper solution for yeah. a girl who want to be more pretty or even a lady boy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah you were talking about that how well that's also very popular lady boys getting the surgery getting various plastic surgery too right, right? yeah and uh, i i read about this news and um of course i did the research on on that as well so she want a bigger hips and usually the doctor will um, inject her own, her own fat into her right. butt, right? That's what it should be. But she's just too slim. <laughs> you cannot find fat on her body. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. That's, yeah, I remember that. Um, they tried to get it from her stomach or usually that's where they get it from. Right. And they, and they moved it. And he, they think, because they don't know what happened, that he injected something into her bloodstream or something because she complained that mm -hmm. she couldn't breathe. Right. So they, he immediately took her to the hospital and then she fell into a coma and oh, that was no. it. Oh, she no. She never woke up. Wow. So wow. I'm, I'm curious, Mia. Mm hmm it, this is completely acceptable in Thai culture, like nobody, like in, in American culture, plastic surgery is looked upon in very various ways, mm -hmm. ranging from very negative um, to it's okay, but right. 
generally people they don't have a good viewpoint on it. Yeah. That's my experience. Right. So I'm just kind of wondering what my people think. Well, you know, I mean, this is the new trend as well. I would say for the past um, 10 to 20 years that Thai people are become really crazy about surgery. Of course, they had this plastic surgery. Even my mom, she had p- plastic surgery done. I will not tell what part of her body, <laughs> but she, she did long time ago. Mm-hmm. And she was telling me that in that time she was having an, an accident and, you know, uh, her face was a little de- deconstructed. So to make her look the same, the doctor has to do, you know, plastic surgery on her. And, of course, the technology is more and more advanced these days, and especially the Korean trend. Mm-hmm. And when you talk about the Korean celebrity or, uh, you know, singers or pop singer, even a man has surgery done. Yeah, yeah. You, you see the crazy, they compare like before and after with the Korean pop star, like men look like women, look like girl. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've yes. noticed that. Right, and you you want this elongated face. You you don't want a round shape, like round face like what we do in in Thailand. You want to have a um, big nose or cute little eyes, and and it's affordable here, even for Thai mm-hmm. people. Imagine in the West, and you want to get a surgery done. Gosh, it costs so much, right? Look, to so get the boob jobs in uh, in America will cost something. Do you know? I don't know. Um, I, I have guess. no idea. Anybody who's seen me knows that I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 10,000, 20,000, I, I don't know the numbers. But here, 100,000 baht, you can get a boob job, a good one. Mm-hmm. Now, it seems like I, I talked a lot about boobs. <laughs> but because everybody, is, if you know me, if you have seen me, I, I, I'm a Thai. But I have more curves than normal Thai. Talk about that, that yes, we all want what we don't have, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the Buddhism country, the moderation, the middle way. This day, yes, surgery, plastic surgery, it's acceptable. Um, If you don't overdo it, you know, like, um, I can understand if you want to have Mm -hmm. a nose bridge a little. Because sometimes some girl doesn't have anything here. So mm. it's absolutely flat and probably not look good on the um, camera or anything like that. That's fine. But but what I heard is w- once you start the first surgery, mm-hmm. the next one will be more and more easy for you to get into it. You know, oh, okay, now my nose is larger. Okay, n- I have to enlarge my chin because it's too short. Make it longer. Mm-hmm. But inject, um, I don't know, silicone or whatever. Or my jaw is a little too big. So this obsession, this obsession is has been really, really crazy. And um, unfortunately, people who take advantage of this business, you know, start to do their own things and they're not really a certified plastic surgery or not even a doctor for example so mm-hmm. if you ask me what i really think about it it's kind of like you have a lot of lady boys walking around we have no problem with it same with plastic surgery mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. seem like okay but you know they're not gonna come out and say hey i just got my notes done if you're not right. a good friend right but yeah, overall, if they look pretty, it's fine. If you not overdo it, it's fine. But um, I am one of many girls who using a beauty clinic, you know, for my for my face, for my skin mainly. Mm-hmm. And of course, um, I am my in my thirties. <laughs> uh, the doctor um, offer offer me a couple of time with this Botox. Oh, really? Yeah. So I say, um, I. I, I know I'm in my 30s, but I don't think I need it right now. Mm-hmm. And sh- she started to tell me that last time there was a girl who, uh, sh- I think she was 21 years old, come in for the Botox. Oh, wow. It just, it really shocked me to like, wow, that young, you know, and, and she, she wants to be pretty. Um, Who's to blame? I don't know. You, I hear what you're saying. The bridge on the nose, the bigger breasts, the bigger hips. Um, a face that's more oval as opposed to round. 
and it does make me sad because you're basically talking about all Asian features. Mm. Eyes that need to be with the fold and right, wider. Right. A bridge. You know, like I have classic Chinese looks. My face was considered pretty flat. I don't have a bridge. Mm-hmm. But you, know you I mean? but you have a really nice face. <laughs> Long face. <laughs> but you know what I mean? And like someone who has more of a round face mm. or, you know, someone who isn't built, you know, like a beautiful Brazilian woman with all the curves, you know. Asian women, I mean, you're a rare case. You're very curvy. But Asian women are just not made that way. And so it's like, I do find that a little sad. Yeah. We're basically yeah. perpetuating and saying it's okay for, for women to change the way they look and to try to look like a different race. Yeah, and we are still really popular for exotic beauty of Thai women. Right, right. Yeah, because I remember this guy that I used to date. We were talking about the white trend. Yeah, the mm -hmm. women want to have white skin like the Koreans or the Japanese. Right. And he says, Lonnie, if you look at the guys that come to Thailand, what kind of girls do they choose? They choose the girls that look exotic to them, the tan. Right. They have dark right. skin. Right. They don't have the white skin. Mm -hmm. You know, so he doesn't understand. You know. Why. Well, maybe those women are not target a Western man. You know what I mean? Right, um, right. Yeah. Thai men and Asian men do desire the, the the women with the white skin. Anyway, but you know, as far as this whitening goes, believe me, I have done a lot of research. Why? Because I'm so curious about all this. And again, you you probably not heard of this news because... It was, um, I think it's last year that a girl, she wants to have white skin. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, when we talk about white, white skin, it doesn't mean white, white, Michael Jackson, white, okay? You want this young looking, like a baby skin. Mm -hmm. So a lot of products offered by a beauty clinic and one of them that I think are quite extreme is the injection of this substance called glutathione. Is supposed to whiten your skin, but you you inject it right into your vein. Oh, really? Yes, and that's what the quick fix to be white and pretty. I I've seen the the show that they interview pretty. They say all the girls got this injection. When you see them, let's let's just Google it. Like pretty Bangkok model show, they have this crazy bright skin so okay. white so pure yeah so a lot of them uh, um, go to this uh, the clinic and what happened is of course when you when you give it injection into the vein and sometimes it's leak. and yes that's one dead case that has been reported yeah and leaked and imagine how many cases that has been just sweep under the rug because right, nobody right. want to re re report about it so yeah some die from this uh, whitening substance. So sad. It's it's really sad um, things to think about. We are a Buddhism country, and yes, the philosophy of Buddhism is moderation, right? The middle way. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm not against the plastic surgery or beauty clinic, but it has to be a limit. Right. And, you know, if you your career it's to be pretty like the pretty job I can understand that you want to whiten your skin or make a little surgery to f for the better pay right mm -hmm. but if you are so you know intelligence and g good personality that could bring you into a really unique pretty as well so not too extreme that's what I'm trying to say mm -hmm. moderation mm -hmm. be safe and the guys will love you the way you are <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, please let us know your thoughts on this. Um, I'd really like t to hear it. Um, yeah, absolutely. And we can talk about it, this again in the details, in the, right, right? In a particular yeah. subject. I know this. We cannot talk forever. <laughs> we have yeah. to end. Well, we can. That's a problem. It's a big topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, please leave a comment. Yes, um, please do. And let us and let us know what you think. We'd love to hear from you. So until next time, so what do you come? So what do you come?
Ciao. Take care, everyone.